These monuments defy expectations of what humans can build, and sometimes seem to defy gravity itself. Get ready for some serious eye candy. These amazing structures seem too detailed, too complex, too intricate, or too big to have been built by people, particularly those made long ago before machines existed to aid in their creation. Yet the world's most beautiful buildings, and statues stand as a testament to human capability and innovation. Some cities have more than one, we could do a whole story on Paris alone, but we search the world to find the structures that best inspire, mystify, and leave us awestruck. We might not be able to see them all in real life, but luckily, we can take a trip around the globe to visit them virtually. In this video, we show you 28 of the most beautiful and amazing man-made wonders all around the world. Number 28, Angkor Wat, Cambodia. Angkor Wat is a Hindu temple complex at Angkor, Cambodia, built for the king, Sri Avarman II, in the early 12th century as his state temple, and part of his capital city. As the best preserved temple at the site, it is the only one to have remained a significant religious center since its foundation. The temple is at the top of the high classical style of Khmer architecture. Number 27. Taj Mahal, India India's most iconic and symbolic monument ever, listed on World Wonders list repeatedly. This marvelous monument constructed entirely using white marbles. Taj Mahal built by Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan, in the loving memory of his wife, Mumtaz. It took 22 years for the completion of this beautiful monument, also listed in the World Heritage Site. They used combination of Indian, Islamic and Persian style of architecture for Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal appears in different colors at different time intervals of a day, and all sides of Taj Mahal are perfectly identical. Number 26, Colosseum, Rome, Italy. Colosseum of Rome is the largest amphitheater in the world. It is built in 70 AD using concrete, and stones with a base of Roman architecture. There are 80 entrances, and have a capacity of 50,000 spectators within Colosseum of Rome. In ancient time, this Colosseum used for hosting a game between people and animals. It took more than 9 years to complete the work of Colosseum and, it estimates 100,000 cubic meters of marbles used for the creation of Colosseum. Number 25, Great Wall of China. The Great Wall of China is the world's longest construction ever made by man. The 8,851 kilometers long Wall of China was built 2,000 years ago by King Qin Shi Huang. It is mainly constructed using stones, bricks, and woods. It is also the only man made structure on Earth seen from Moon. More than 1 million people have lost their lives during the construction of this wall, which became the longest cemetery. The Great Wall of China is not constructed in a continuous move, but in different sections. The wall near Beijing is open for visitors and the most secure section of the wall. Number 24, Bagan Temple and Pagodas, Myanmar. Bagan Temple is a historical site in Myanmar, which have the same importance as that of Angkor Wat in Cambodia. The 26 square mile spread temple built in 1287. This ancient temple seems beautiful with many small, and big statues of Buddha and beautiful carvings in walls. It is one of UNESCO's World Heritage's listed site with more than 2,000 pagodas. It is world's largest concentration of ancient Buddhist temples. It has impressive ancient paintings from pagodas, and massive structures of pagodas represent the Buddhist cosmos. Number 23, Christ the Redeemer, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Christ the Redeemer is one of the modern man-made wonders of the world, located in Corcovado Hills in Rio de Janeiro. 
In fact, the Christ the Redeemer statue constructed in France is piece by piece, and transported to Rio de Janeiro, completed in the year 1931. The 98 feet tall statue built using concrete of thousands of tons. It is very interesting that, it is the fifth largest statues of Jesus Christ in the world. The left arm of this statue points towards North Rio de Janeiro, and right arm points towards South Rio de Janeiro. The stones used for the construction of this statue imported from Sweden. Number 22, Petra, Jordan. Petra is a historic and archaeological city in the Jordanian governorate of Man that is known for its rock-cut architecture and water conduit system. Established sometime around the 6th century BC as the capital city of the Nabataeans, it is a symbol of Jordan as well as its most visited tourism attraction. It lies on the slope of Mount Hor, in a basin among the mountains which form the eastern flank of Araba, Wadi Araba, the large valley running from the Dead Sea to the Gulf of Aqaba. Number 21, the Golden Gate Bridge, the United States of America. One of the most famous bridges in the world, San Francisco's Golden Gate Bridge is also perhaps the most breathtaking, spanning the Golden Gate Strait, which links the San Francisco Bay to the Pacific Ocean. In addition to the striking towers and graceful cables of the suspension bridge, its most recognizable aspect is the unique color, called International Orange, painted on the steel structure. But the color wasn't an easy sell back in 1933, when the bridge began construction. The Golden Gate Bridge is one of the greatest monuments of all time, consulting architect Irving Morrow wrote to convince the bridge's board of directors. Its unprecedented size and scale, along with its grace of form and independence of conception, all call for unique and unconventional treatment from every point of view. What has been thus played up in form should not be let down in color. Number 20, Stonehenge, England. Stonehenge is a prehistoric monument located in the English county of Wiltshire, about 3.2 kilometers, 2.0 miles, west of Amesbury, and 13 kilometers, 8.1 miles, north of Salisbury. One of the most famous sites in the world, Stonehenge is composed of earthworks surrounding a circular setting of large standing stones. It is at the center of the densest complex of Neolithic and Bronze Age monuments in England, including several hundred burial mounds. Number 19, Big Ben and the House of Parliament, England. Big Ben. Parliament. You might remember the line from the movie National Lampoon's European Vacation, and the most famous and beloved clock tower in the world does indeed dominate the London skyline. But it's actually the bell inside, which weighs more than 13 tons, that is technically called Big Ben, the 315-foot tower is officially Elizabeth Tower. The original Palace of Westminster, which now houses the British government's parliament, was destroyed by fire in 1834. Nearly a decade later, plans were made for a new, Gothic Revival-style stone building. Designed by Charles Barry to blend in seamlessly with the surviving medieval buildings, the ornate Parliament building and the tower took 30 years to build. Number 18, Mount Rushmore, United States. Mount Rushmore National Memorial is a sculpture carved into the granite face of Mount Rushmore near Keystone, South Dakota, in the United States. Sculpted by Gutson Borlam and later by his son Lincoln Borlam, Mount Rushmore features 60-foot, 18 meters, sculptures of the heads of former United States presidents, in order from left to right, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. Number 17. Leaning Tower of Pisa, Italy It's not an optical illusion, nor have the architects imagined it so crooked. 
No sooner had the tower reached the third story, than the construction started sinking into the ground, due to a poorly foundation and the leaning first became obvious. Today is keeps sinking at the regular rate of about 1 mm a year, and even the smartest minds are not able to say with certainty, what the future will bring for this Italian curiosity, and an undisputable masterpiece of architecture. Number 16, The Forbidden City, China This ominously named Royal Palace Complex in Beijing, is an outstanding marvel of Chinese architecture in all its detail and vibrancy. Completed in 1420, the Forbidden City is actually made of many buildings surrounded by a two-mile-long wall and a moat. It's gorgeously decorated mainly in yellow and red, with colorful elements, mythical animals, and distinctly shaped swooping roofs. Because the emperor was considered to be a son of heaven, regular people were not let in, which is why it was considered forbidden. At the center of the Forbidden City is its largest building, the Hall of Supreme Harmony, which contains the throne, atop three tiered marble terraces, beyond are the royal residences. Number 15, Chichen Itza, Mexico. The most astounding pre-Hispanic structure of Mesoamerica stands in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, the huge stepped pyramid called the Castle or Temple of Kukulkan in the ancient ruins of Chichen Itza. The city was established by the Mayans, and then taken over by another group called the Toltecs, at which time the most impressive structures at Chichen Itza were built around 900 AD. Named for the Mayan god Kukulkan, a feathered serpent, the central structure is nearly 100 feet tall and has 91 steps on each of its four sides. The beauty in its design involves the builder's precise knowledge of math and astronomy. The temple is aligned with the sun, so on the spring and fall equinoxes, the shadow of a serpent seems to crawl down the pyramid. Number 14, the Blue Mosque, Turkey. Istanbul, Turkey, has so many beautiful places of worship, and some might say the most beautiful is a toss-up between the church-turned-museum Hagia Sophia and the Blue Mosque. They're both similar in design, but we're choosing the Blue Mosque because of its refinement and detail, with its six graceful minarets, one main and eight smaller domes, and gorgeous stained glass. The mosque's crowning achievement, though, is 20,000 ceramic isnik tiles in bright blue, green, and turquoise embellishing the interior, which give the mosque its nickname. Reds and yellows, along with gold calligraphy, complete the decorations, forming patterns, geometric bands, and medallions. Motifs include flowers, fruit, and cypress trees. Built in 1616, it's officially called the Sultan Ahmed Mosque after the ruler who commissioned it. Number 13. Mont Saint-Michel, France. Although it's also lovely up close, what sets this monastery apart is the breathtaking view from afar. Just off the northern shore of France in Normandy, Mont Saint-Michel sits atop a small but steep outcropping on a tiny island. On a misty day, it seems to float above the clouds, the abbey's spire rising to the heavens. At high tide, the island is surrounded by water, at low tide, a pathway of sand leads to the village below. The uncertainty of the abbey's surroundings must have lent a sense of danger and mystery to the monastery when it was built in the Middle Ages, and its mystique lingers even today.
Number 12, Luxor Temple, Egypt. The two temples of Karnak and Luxor, as well as the museum, are all located on the east bank of Luxor, Egypt. The majority of Luxor's tourist attractions are located on the west bank, which boasts so many tombs and temples that it has been dubbed the largest open-air museum in the world. You'll understand why Luxor continues to captivate historians and archaeologists after spending a few days here, examining the vibrant tomb wall paintings, and marveling at the enormous columns in the temples. Number 11, La Sagrada Familia, Spain. Barcelona is well known for the distinctive architecture of the city's favorite son, Antoni Gothi. His style defies description, all curves, colors, and textures that look at once as the work of a master as well as something a child molded out of Play-Doh. His most outlandishly beautiful creation is La Sagrada Familia, a church he began in 1882, and which is still being built construction is expected to be finally completed in 2026. Appearing almost like a drip sandcastle, the church features many tall spires, and points along the roof, and it's adorned with stone and plaster sculptures and details, as well as colorful pinnacles. La Sagrada Familia also boasts some of the most stunning stained glass windows in the world. Number 10, Great Pyramid of Giza, Egypt. Pyramids are one of the greatest wonders that the man has ever conceived. Upon them, the Great Pyramid of Giza stands as ever time man-made wonder of the ancient world. It built during the period of 2589 BC and 2504 BC for Pharaohs Khufu. It is also the oldest and largest pyramid globally, with a record height of 146 meters. It was constructed using 2,300,000 stones that weigh up to 50 tons, and, Curvature within the faces of this pyramid also exactly matches with the radius of Earth. Number 9, The Eiffel Tower, France The Eiffel Tower, nickname, The Iron Lady, is an 1889 iron lattice tower located on the Champ de Mars in Paris, that has become both a global icon of France, and one of the most recognizable structures in the world. The tallest building in Paris, it is the most visited paid monument in the world, millions of people ascend it every year. Named for its designer, engineer Gustav Eiffel, the tower was built as the entrance arch to the 1889 World's Fair. Number 8, Sydney Opera House, Australia. Even if you've never been to the opera, you probably recognize the soaring arches of this building over Sydney Harbour, Australia. It stands by itself as one of the indisputable masterpieces of human creativity, not only in the 20th century but in the history of humankind, reads a report to UNESCO World Heritage, of which the building is now a member. Designed in the late 1950s and opened in 1973, the vaulted shells of the Opera House seem to burst out of its harbour side setting, at once totally modern but also evoking emotion a dramatic setting to match the drama of the performing arts at houses. 1,056,006 Sydney tiles, made of a unique combination of clay and crushed stone, cover the roofs of the shells. Number 7, Machu Picchu, Peru. Machu Picchu stands 2,430 meters above sea level in the middle of a tropical mountain forest, in an extraordinarily beautiful setting. It was probably the most amazing urban creation of the Inca Empire at its height, its giant walls, terraces and ramps seem as if they have been cut naturally in the continuous rock escarpments. The natural setting, on the eastern slopes of the Andes, 
encompasses the upper Amazon basin with its rich diversity of flora and fauna. Number 6, Giant Buddha of Lashan, China On Mount Ma, the first center of Buddhism in China sits this remarkable 232-foot-tall Buddha, carved out of the red sandstone rock in the 8th century. Located in the Mount Ma scenic area of protected natural beauty, the Buddha which is the largest ancient Buddha in the world, is also partially covered by green vegetation, making it look like he's wearing the forest. Meticulously crafted, his serene face looks out at the meeting of three rivers. In addition, his hair features more than 1,000 buns, and his long ears are made of wood covered in mud to adhere to the rest of the stone head. Unseen is the sophisticated drainage system that has prevented the Buddha from deteriorating due to rain. Number 5, Acropolis of Athens, Greece The Acropolis of Athens or Citadel of Athens is the best-known Acropolis in the world. Although there are many other Acropolis in Greece, the significance of the Acropolis of Athens is such that it is commonly known as the Acropolis without qualification. The Acropolis was formally proclaimed as the preeminent monument on the European Cultural Heritage List of Monuments on March 26, 2007. Number 4, Sumala Monastery, Turkey With its stunning, lonely setting, built into a cliff face, Sumala Monastery, meaning Monastery of the Virgin Mary, is the star attraction for visitors along the Black Sea coast. Wandering around this abandoned religious complex, with its church interiors crammed with dazzling and vibrant frescoes, is a must for anyone who makes the long journey to Turkey's northeast region. The monastery first opened during the Byzantine era, and only ceased operation as a working religious center in 1923, when the monks were forced to leave as part of the Greek-Turkish population exchange. Today, wandering its empty cells, it's easy to imagine the isolated lives of the monks who once lived here. Number 3, Burj Khalifa, United Arab Emirates From the ancient to the very modern, this high-tech yet exquisite building in Dubai is the current tallest in the world at over 2,700 feet. Its series of slender cylinders seem to spiral to the sky, ending in a needle-like point. Opened in 2010, the Burj Khalifa sparkles and gleams thanks to reflective glazing, and nearly 26,000 hand-cut glass panels that comprise the exterior. The building's sophisticated but subtle beauty might be due to being inspired by nature. The shape of the Hymenocallus, or spider lily, a desert flower of the region, was the basis for its floor plan. Here are more of the tallest skyscrapers in the world. Number 2, the Alhambra, Spain. The name Alhambra comes from an Arabic root which means red or crimson castle, perhaps due to the hue of the towers and walls that surround the entire hill of La Sabica which by starlight is silver but by sunlight is transformed into gold. But there is another more poetic version, evoked by the Muslim analysts who speak of the construction of the Alhambra fortress by the light of torches, the reflections of which gave the walls their particular coloration. Created originally for military purposes, the Alhambra was a fortress, a palace, and a small city, all in one. This triple character helps to explain many distinctive features of the monument.
there is no reference to the Alhambra as being a residence of kings until the 13th century, even though the fortress had existed since the 9th century. The first kings of Granada, the Zerites, had their castles and palaces on the hill of the Albicene, and nothing remains of them. The Nazrites were probably the emirs who built the Alhambra, starting in 1238. Number 1, The Pyramids of Teotihuacan, Mexico The holy city of Teotihuacan, the place where the gods were created, is situated some 50 kilometers northeast of Mexico City. Built between the 1st and 7th centuries AD, it is characterized by the vast size of its monuments, in particular, the Temple of Quetzalcoatl and the Pyramids of the Sun and the Moon, laid out on geometric and symbolic principles. As one of the most powerful cultural centers in Mesoamerica, Teotihuacan extended its cultural and artistic influence throughout the region, and even beyond.